Hey guys, in this video, I want to go ahead and talk about um, solving absolute value equations. In this video, we're going to talk about resolving these equations of value absolute. Um, so one thing about absolute value, guys, you want to remember is absolute value is going to have two solutions. Why? Because absolute value is the distance on the number line from zero. So I gave you this example here. So here's zero. Here's positive three, here's negative three. If I ask you what's the distance from zero to three or from three to zero, you're gonna say three units. And then from negative three to zero, well, what's the distance? You're still gonna say three units, three steps. So that's why when we, we write it like this, absolute value of three, we get three. And same thing here, absolute value of negative three is the same thing, three. So when you're solving these equations, you can have two solutions. So let's go ahead and see if we can solve some of these and I'll show you how to do it, okay. Vamos a resolver esto y van a tener dos soluciones porque como pueden ver la solución de el valor absoluto de 3 o negativo 3 es lo mismo, el, el, la distancia es 3. Entonces cuando hago esto vamos, voy a sacar dos soluciones. So what you want to do is you want to, whatever is inside here you're, you're not going to change, okay? So you're going to write two solutions here. You're going to write x minus 3 is equal to the positive, okay, 4. And then you're going to do x minus 3 is equal to the negative solution. El positivo y el negativo. Noten que no se escribe nada de adentro se cambia. Nothing on the inside changes. Just the outside. And I do that on purpose just to kind of keep it uh, simple for you guys. So now we're going to solve this guy and we're going to solve this guy. Vamos a resolver este y este. So this guy, you're going to add 3 to both sides. Vamos a sumar 3 a los dos lados. We're going to get x is equal to 7. And then for this guy, same thing. And this guy have a little bit more room so I can do it this way. Letters on the left, numbers on the right. So we're going to end up with x is equal to negative 4 plus 3. That means x is equal to negative 1. x is equal to negative 1. And that's your answer. Those are your two solutions. Esas son las dos soluciones. So let's go ahead and do the second one. Let's go ahead and do this one. Now, anytime you guys are solving an equation, you're undoing the order of operations. Cualquier um, tiempo que están resolviendo ecuaciones, está, se están deshaciendo de la orden de operaciones. So what we want to undo first is addition or subtraction. So this guy, we're going to undo the positive 3. Go to the other side. It's going to become a negative 3. So that's going to become 2 times the absolute value of x minus 4 is equal to 4. And what you want to do is you want to isolate the absolute value. Y lo que quieren hacer es aislar el valor absoluto como este para resolverlo así. So we want to isolate it just like number 1 and then that way we can go ahead and split them up afterwards. So now notice here the 2 is right next to the absolute value. That means multiply. So the inverse is division. So we're going to divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now we have the absolute value of x minus 4 is equal to 2. Now this guy looks a lot like number 1 and we're going to go ahead and split them up. So now we have x minus 4 is equal to positive 2 and then we're going to do the other one. x minus 4 is equal to negative 2. So when we solve it, add 4 to both sides, vamos a sumar 4 los dos lados, x is equal to 6 and then negative 4 brings it across, becomes a positive 4. Okay x is going to equal to positive 2. x is equal to positive 2. And those are your two solutions. All right. Esas son las dos soluciones. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can do some more. Okay. Vamos a hacer este. Now, you notice here that 3 is adding to this whole expression here with the absolute value. A lot of times what students do, they say, oh, 3 plus 2 is 5. And then they go ahead and do that. But no, remember, you want to undo the, addition, the order of operations. Okay. And this can be done either way because, remember, this is multiplying the absolute value. This is adding. So you can't go ahead and do that. So what you have to do, take this guy here, bring him across, becomes a negative 3. Okay? So now we have 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 9 minus 3, which is 6. Entonces, como pueden ver, muchos estudiantes dicen, oh, 3 más 2 es 5 y después uh, lo hacen así, pero no, es, eh, no está correcto. Tienen que primero deshacerse del 3 porque el 3 está sumando toda esta expresión. Entonces tengo que restar el 3 a los dos lados. Me va a dar 6. Well, now the 2 is multiplying. So we're going to go ahead and divide. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. 
and then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we're going to get the absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 3. Now that we have isolated it, we can go ahead and x plus 1 is equal to 3. And the other solution, x plus 1 is equal to negative 3. And then we just solve it from there. Letters on the left, numbers on the right. The positive one becomes a negative one. All right. And then we get x is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay. Letras a la izquierda, números a la derecha, menos uno. Now be careful. A lot of times students think, oh, the answer is 2. And then on the other one, the answer should be negative 2. No, be careful. Negative 3 minus 1, that's going to give you negative 4. Okay. So just kind of go step by step. And um, that way you won't get confused. But notice what I'm doing. I'm undoing the order of operations. So now let's go ahead and do some trickier ones. Vamos a hacer esto de aquí con la fracción. Now here's a fraction. There's kind of two ways you can go ahead and do it. One of them is just kind of add the 6 to both sides and just start doing it that way. Um, and I think we, we can go ahead and do that. I think so since we're going ahead and undoing addition subtraction first. Ok, lo que vamos a hacer primero es igual lo que hemos estado haciendo. So now you see here we're subtracting 6, right? This minus 6. So we're going to undo that first. Entonces vamos a deshacernos del menos 6. Se convierte en positivo 6. 3 más 6 es 9. So 3 plus 6 is 9. So we have this guy, x plus 3. And we have the 4. Now from here, I think what I'm going to have you guys do... Okay, we're going to go ahead and you can cross multiply and that's okay. This one's pretty simple because it works out nicely. But sometimes you can have values that are not, um, how should I say, they're, they don't go into it evenly. So how do we solve those? But what I want to do here is I want to show you guys how to just always get rid of that fraction because it's, it's cumbersome and we don't like to work with fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by the 4. Because we want to get rid of this fraction. Vamos a multiplicar toda la ecuación por 4 para deshacernos de esa fracción. So remember, you're only going to multiply the outside number 3. You're not going to multiply the x plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Leave the x plus 3 on the inside. Leave the 4 alone. And then 4 times 9 is 36. So you see here, 12 divided by 4, we can do that. That's going to give me 3. And then x plus 3. And that's going to equal... 36. Okay. Now that's a lot easier to work with. Okay. Ahora esto es más fácil de, de, de hacerlo. Entonces vamos a dividir. We're going to go ahead and divide. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we're going to get x plus 3. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So now that I've isolated the absolute value, I can go ahead and solve it. x plus 3 is equal to positive 12. And then the other solution, x plus 3 is equal to the negative 12. So now, go ahead and solve this. Positive 3 becomes a negative 3. 12 minus 3, that's pretty simple enough. That gives you a 9. 12 menos 3 es 9. Okay. Positivo 3 al otro lado se convierte en negativo. Igualmente, x es igual a, be careful, negative 12 minus 3 is negative 15. But you notice how I wanted to go ahead and get rid of that fraction. Okay, That's the most important thing when you're solving these. This guy, bring it across, give it that 4, okay? You want to get it to isolate this absolute value in order to go ahead and split them. All right, so let's go ahead and do a couple more and a bit more difficult. Vamos a hacer estas. Now, you see here, you see how that, that half is out there? So when students see that, they get all kind of freaked out and they get scared and confused. Oh, what do I do? Well, you want to get rid of that fraction. But we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. You see how I have this positive 4? Let's go ahead and take them across first. Becomes a negative 4 and do that because that's pretty easy. So 12 minus 4 is going to give you 8. So now you have 1 half, absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 8. So now we want to go ahead and mold, look at the bottom. Look at the denominator. And that's a 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 2. Lo que voy a hacer es multiplicar todo por 2. ¿Por qué? Para deshacerme esa fracción de este, este dos. So, remember, you're just multiplying the top. And the reason I like you guys doing this is because this is or it's very important as you move into Algebra 2 and you're canceling out these equations and complex fractions and whatnot. So, let's multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 por 1 is 2. 
Leave the denominator the same. Do not multiply the inside the 2x minus 1. Leave them alone. And then 2 times 8, 2 por 8 is 16. 2 entre 2 is 1. So we're going to be left with 2x minus 1 is equal to 16. Great. I can do that. That's a lot easier now. I said más fácil. So now we're going to have 2x minus 1 is equal to positive 16. And then we're going to do the other one. 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 16. Okay. Ahora vamos a resolver eso. Menos 1 se convierte en positivo 1. 16 más 1, 16 plus 1 is actually 17. Divide by 2, we get 17 halves. Same thing over here. Now be careful. Okay. This becomes positive 1, same thing. Okay, now 2x is equal to negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. Divide by 2 becomes negative 15 half, neg negative 15 medio. Okay, and that's okay. So just be careful, go slowly, step by step, and then you guys will be able to figure out how to do these, okay? Last one, all right. Same thing I'm going to do here. Um, some students, you can go ahead and cross multiply and that's okay. Um, and we can go ahead and do it that way too. Muchos estudiantes algunas veces cuando se ve de esta forma nomás pueden multiplicar cruzado se llama. You can go ahead and do that right here. Boom. Just cross multiply, multiplicar cruzado hacia arriba. And that's okay. Probably that's a lot easier, a lot faster. So we're going to get 3x minus 2 and then 2 times 7, 2 por 7 es 14. Now the absolute value is isolated. Now I can go ahead and split it. Ahora puedo hacer las dos ecuaciones. 3x menos 2 es igual a 14. Y después 3x menos 2 es igual a menos 14. 14. Notice nothing on the inside changes. I've changed nothing on the inside. Just only the outside. Equals 14 and then equals negative 14. Now that I have this, let's go ahead and solve it. Okay. Letters on the left, numbers to the right. The negative 2 becomes a positive 2. Okay. 14 plus 2 is going to give you 16. 16. Divido por 3. 16 entre 3. Okay. And you can go ahead and leave it like that. Your professor will say that's okay. Igualmente acá, 3x menos 2 se convierte en positivo 2. So now we have 3x is equal to negative 14 plus 2 is negative 12. Divide, voy a dividir, negative 12 divided by 3, you're going to get x is equal to negative 4. Okay, and that's it. So, the whole thing is you want to isolate this absolute value. You want to undo the order of operations, and if you ever get a fraction, just start multiplying to get rid of that fraction. Alright, so hopefully that helps. Okay, muchachos, espero que les haya ayudado. Para la próxima.